Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Colmston Farms here in Farming Simulator 22 with me, C. Waddy. As you can see, I'm driving a tractor. It's not mine, it's a contract tractor, and I'm currently in the middle of doing cultivating contract on field one. Gerald is uh, over on field two, I think it is, doing stone collecting and stone gathering. I am here doing cultivating. This is the second of three cultivating jobs I've accepted. I've already done the first one and completed that. This is the second. I've got one more to do over on field five. But I figured I need to get these done this evening. We need to pull some long hours and um, make the most of it because obviously time is ticking by it's September already it's going to be the last day of September tomorrow playing up my current two days per month um, calendar which means we've got to get really cracking like I say Gerald is doing bone collecting somewhere over here well, he should be, unless he's run into trouble. Nope, he's going right. He's doing the headlands now. He's on the headlands. He's on the last leg. He's got one more field to stone pick after that. He's done fields. Um, he's done fields three and four. So they're done. Uh, three and six, should I say? He's done those. Once he's done field number two, he'll be doing field 23. Now as you may have noticed, the fields require lime. And um, well, I'm going to be quite honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to bother lime spreading this year. It's another job that's going to take a lot of time to do. It's a job that's going to require me to have equipment, to buy equipment we don't have at great expense. It's another job that's going to require me to use lots of product. I'm going to have to buy lots of lime. And I would say, judging by the size of these fields, we would get through an absolute ton of it. So I think I'm just going to take the gamble. And I'm not going to lime spread this year. We've done the plowing. Uh, instead, we'll focus on fertilizing the fields get them up to their um, maximum level. We'll focus more on fertilising. Uh, we won't worry too much about the lime spreading. We won't worry too much about rolling in this first year. Um, we just need to get crop in the ground, get crop growing so we can harvest and make money next year. And hopefully in year two, be in a slightly stronger position than where we can afford more specialised equipment to do more of the uh, jobs that actually will benefit our yield and our production. Now, I did finish the seeding contract that I started in the last episode. Uh, it didn't quite go according to plan. Um, in, t in, in true Jeremy Clarkson style, I made a bit of a boo-boo. Um, the first two rows of the field that I seeded, I planted the wrong crop. <laughs> I planted the wrong crop. And unfortunately, the seeder that I'd been given for the contract was not a direct drill seeder. So I couldn't seed over the, um, the uh, incorrectly um, sown crop. I also, when I tried to get round it by taking my cultivator over there to see if I could cultivate the crop I'd incorrectly seeded, it wouldn't let me because I didn't have access to the field with my cultivator. So I had to unfortunately carry on and seed the field with the correct crop, got to the end of the field, luckily did enough that the contract completed okay and I got paid. Um, it's just going to be a bit interesting when that farmer, poor bloke, comes to harvest his crop next year that he's going to find he's got two rows of a completely different crop in his um, field. 
<laughs> He's got two rows of wheat when he wanted barley. Um, and that was my fault. That was my fault. Purely that is on me. I hold my hand up to that one and say, I made that mistake. Um, I forgot to change the seed in the seeder after leasing, um, you know, borrowing the equipment from for the contract, driving it to the field, starting seeding. I forgot to check the seed, check the crop type and change it. That's not one of the bugs. That wasn't down to bugs and glitches in the game, which I have experienced, as I've been saying. I've had issues a couple of times now uh, in the game where the crop I have had selected in my cedar or planter has not been the crop that's actually gone into the field. And... I'm not sure how to, like I said, I'm not sure what the cause of that is and why it happens, but a couple of times now, certainly I can count the number of times it's happened on one hand, you know, though it's happened a couple of times where I've tried to seed a crop, been merrily driving up and down the field, and then when I've got to the end of the field, it turns out that what the map has actually planted or put in the field is completely different to what I've actually had selected on the cedar planter. I don't know what, like I say, don't know what causes that issue. Um, it's something I'm now very sort of um, paranoid about. Oh, this is starting to struggle a little bit. This is a big ass tractor, you know. This uh, New Holland. T9, it's a fairly big machine this, you think it would be capable of pulling this cultivator at a pretty uh, rapid pace, but struggling a little bit, and these fields aren't massively hilly, I wouldn't have said. But it has got 69.2 hours on it, this machine. So maybe it's a little bit rough around the edges. And maybe it's not quite as... Um, not quite as powerful as a brand new machine. Also, there's no telling what engine that has actually got fitted in it. It's a 480. Hmm. We'll have a look at that in a second once we turn around and start going back down the next row. Might be that it's actually a little bit underpowered. Anyway, maybe didn't lease me the bestest T9 that there is available. It's probably one with a, a better engine option. Let's have a quick look. Large tractors. Thing nine. 480. Yeah, 469. They could have given me the 700. The 700 would be spanking it. In fact, they could have given me anything but the 480. That is the lowest entry level T9. I would have preferred the um, 700 myself. You know, if I was buying one, that's what I would probably get. T8, and then we've got Stevie's T9s. A whole load of mods installed now. I've got tons of mods, if you're wondering. I have got tons of mods <laughs> in my single player game. But yeah, I figured, I figured whilst we've got a little bit of light left on this day, after having done the seeding contract and having earlier done the fertilising contract, the free cultivating contracts, all of which were, you know, paying very good money, I figured we'd have a stab at. We'd have a bit of a stab at doing. Because, you know, it's nice to be able to make some money. 
I still haven't got round to selling any other crops yet, of course, because I've been busy doing these um, contracts. Nearly finished this one, actually. But yeah, if we go and have a look at the contract situation. We've got field 30 completed. We've got field one currently active. And we've got field five to do. Field five, like I say, is this big one here next to our fields. Looks like Mr. Um, he does miss a bit, Gerald does. He does tend to miss a few stones here and there in the corners with the old stone picker. Um, so I do occasionally have to go and just tidy up the fields after he's finished. Because he does tend to miss a bit. But he's got one field left to do. Just one field. Like I say, field 23. If he can get that done um, tonight, fantastic. We might be able to start doing some seeding of our own tomorrow. If we make enough money from the contracts today, I can actually buy a seeder. Sorry, I just had to mute, mute up for a quick second there, because um, somebody came to talk to me. Um. <laughs> At least you got to hear the lovely sounds of the T9. In action. Big machine this. But yeah, we um I I, I did um a cultivated field seventeen. That was a contract. I, I had that one to do, so I've done that one. We're doing field one now, and then I've got to jump over and do field five. Field five I can get to by actually driving down between fields our fields two and three. There's access into field five from our land so that's going to be good that's going to be pretty good like i say it's just very it's just taking a long time to do these contracts because obviously i made the rule at the start of the series that if i took contracts I wasn't allowed to use helpers to do contracts. I have to do the contracts. So I have to sit here babysitting the tractors the whole time. I'm not allowed to hire a worker. I'm not allowed to use course play. You know, so poor old Gerald is working all my, my land for me. And we're paying him, obviously. So that's an expense. So these contracts need to be paying well. I'm hoping, though, at the end of this run, this contract will be complete. And I've got one more to do. In fact, it's complete now. I don't have to finish this row. But, yeah, some nice paying jobs. There's a couple of harvesting ones. A nice fertilising one for 35000 Shame there isn't anything. I mean, stones. There's still the stone contract, but there's no way I'm going to get... 45,000 litres of stones. Brilliant. Just absolutely no way. <laughs> I don't know how many Gerald's got already. We'll go and check in a second once I've done this field because I'm going to need to finish field one off before we uh, shift him over to field 23. That'll do. That's near enough for me. Close enough for me. Have a quick trip over to field five. 
and check that Gerald is um, doing what he's supposed to do. I'm also going to, need to check today, after I've recorded this video, whether it all sounds okay or not, and everything. Because um, I'm going to be quite honest. I um, I um, updated my um, mixer software, my um, my voice meter software today, because I've not updated it for a, a, a couple of years, and I noticed there's a much newer version that was released January this year. But I installed that, and weirdly, it removed, it's removed some of the options that I had in the previous version of the software for which devices I can, you know, output sound from and to. So I've had to, like, try and remap all my audio um, using what virtual cables it now gives me. So I've had to set up my speakers again, my microphone, the Discord, Spotify and everything. Uh, I hope it's all recording okay at good quality. I've had to change a lot of the sample rates on a lot of the um on a lot of the stuff. Because um I was getting sound I was already getting sound glitches in the brief bit of testing I was doing off camera right i'm looking for um spots that gerald has missed there we go there's some spots that gerald has missed And that's basically what I've had to do. I've had to go around every field after he's finished. Just checking on the corners. Uh, for some weird reason. Don't ask me why. Um, horseplay. Horseplay's not very good at handling smooth turns without missing bits. Dragging equipment behind it. Wall there. I sometimes wonder if it's because there's too much pivoty, pivoty stuff. Rather than the the trailer following the exact path of the um tractor. But then weirdly Weirdly, some corners, like this one, it always seems to nail it perfectly fine and doesn't miss bits. There's always one corner where Gerald gets it absolutely spot on. But then the other three corners of the field, he misses chunks. And I honestly don't know why. Because he's using the same settings for every corner, or he's supposed to be. Look at the field. A little bit of a weird mark somewhere. Thing. We've got twenty five thousand litres of stone currently. But that's not going to be enough. Complete that contract should I choose to accept it and undertake it. I'm going to need 42,000. And we definitely ain't going to get that off field 23. Because field 23's got small stones. Because um, that field's only been caught. That's only had the little cultivator running over it.
also I'm gonna have to come down here with the plow at some point see if I can remove these hedges so I can get into that land there because that might be very profitable there's plenty of grass there I can cut same with this field here we can get into all this field look we've got all this grass in here look huge grass area that we can mow get a load of free grass from Anyway, let's get the old force plane going. Um, set him a little bit more of a turning circle. See if that helps this time. There's a new um, way of selecting fields and way of doing edges i've got the newest version of course play installed today version 26 um and you notice i can now scroll down everywhere as well Right, we need a target position about there. If you will now be so kind as to drive there, Mr. Um, stone Picker Upper Man. Gerald's going to do the stone picking. And I, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to carry on cultivating and get this lovely, wonderful job done. I might throw a little bit of uh, light on the subject. It's going to start getting very dark. Interesting that the, the, the previous fields weren't worked completely up to the edges the ai leaves a bit of a uh, a little bit of a, a gap it does it doesn't work all the way up to the field boundary hmm. now if that was the case with our fields then that means when i see it i'm going to go right up to the field edges but i imagine we're going to get a little bit more yield again gain a couple of extra feet of crop all the way around the field um i want to find a good angle i need to uh grab a screenshot for the thumbnail everybody Yeah, it'd be nice. Get get a couple of them. Um, get these contracts banged out. And I, right. each one of them's paying, you know, a fairly good price. Go and have a look again, you know. Um, 27, 28, 22. So, you know, nearly 80 grand. from three contracts that will give us just over 200 it should be enough to buy me a cedar in the morning and enable me to start seeding crops Yeah, having discovered we've got quite, obviously, we've got more grass areas than I even thought. I know we've got some grass fields, but I didn't realise they were grassy areas on the map. Because obviously when you look at them on the map, um, you go back and look at the map, that shows us all trees. 
in the map screen, but it's not. Same as over here, that shows us all trees on the map, on the, the PDA, but it's not. It's actually open. Once you get in there, it's an open area. It's just grass, right for mowing. So again, it brings me back to what I was thinking and saying in the previous episode, that we might want to go down the road of let's get a mower, let's get ourselves a baler, let's do a whole load of silage bales, <laughs> and let's earn, a, earn some big money, you know? I do like doing contracts like this, where I borrow the machines. It does give me a chance to have a play and use of machinery and equipment that I probably wouldn't normally use. Because obviously, it probably wouldn't be my first thought to buy a T9 tractor on this map. Given the... Um, narrow nature of the roads that run around the map it's probably a little bit on the big side but there's no doubt about it pulling a quarter of eight like this is a very quick way to get work done hit a tree ladies and gentlemen and watch out for them pesky trees that leap out from the hedge side and grab you grab your equipment I've noticed as well the articulator tractors like this T9 aren't quite as quick as steering as they used to be in previous farms and games. I've noticed they're a little bit slower if when, once you steered in one direction to be able to actually go the opposite direction. It take a long time to like straighten back up again. Um, which makes them a little bit more awkward to use this year, I will admit that. You know. Normally, when I'm listening to on the multiplayer server and someone like Mr. Help is complaining about articulated tractors and he can't reverse them and things like that, I normally just kind of just laugh at him. <laughs> you know. But, definitely seems like this year, in this year's game, the, um, the, steer, the steering speed from one extreme to the other on the um, articulated is a lot slower oh, and a couple of times when I've gone to steer on fields I've kind of got in a bit of a tangle with the cultivator because it's the, the tractor's not straightened up fast enough after making my turn um, and I've checked my settings I've been into the menu and checked the se settings steering back speed is at 100% and my steering sensitivity is at 80, which is slightly increased. Because I've also been playing recently with the wheel. I've been using the wheel. Especially in multiplayer, I've been playing with my um, Frostmaster TGT a bit more often. Massive fields. The 
you can't go crazy on it because again you've got the the like the narrow access to the field through the gates uh, and through the the pathways and roadways so you can't just throw massive equipment at the map and go yeah i'm you know these are big fields but i'm going to smash them out in a fast time it just doesn't work you know Like when I when I came to do um which field now which field have I done no I've done um thirty I th I did field thirty sorry that's the field that I did seventeen was the field I seeded. So yeah, there's a, there's a bit down here somewhere. There's a gate here, right on this corner here. That was difficult to get through. <laughs> with the um with the T9 and this um um cultivator. Yeah, the AI is um, slapping um, fertilizer all over its fields, ladies and gentlemen. Slapping lime everywhere. Like I say, we're not. Go I'm, I don't think I'm going to. Um, based on the fact that again, we just don't have the equipment and the funds, really. Need to have a bit of a look at what a um, what a mower and a baler is going to set me back. That could be something we we lease. We borrow that just to get grass mowed and bales wrapped and. Um, everything like that. Okay, so I have got a, um, looks to be like an east to west, um, DPS course set up, which could come in useful, work in this field. do my complete my second headland i've got room to turn around and then like i say i can use to follow the gps horse then and work across the field i can work into darkness one way i can and i can work into the setting sun in the opposite direction can't i Um. 
So yeah, definitely tomorrow will be uh, will be I'll be uh, manning the class track to myself, I think. And like I say, hopefully, after completing these contracts tonight, I'll get the uh, money needed to um, invest in a cedar. And we can actually start putting crop back in the ground, ready for uh, next year's harvesting. And then over the winter, whilst the crop's sitting in the ground kind of dormant, I can focus on getting the um, getting the silo emptied, getting everything we harvest, harvested this year in the first two episodes of the series, getting all that sold, and then I can use that money as well to invest in equipment that we're going to need, like a fertiliser spreader of our own so we can apply fertilizer it's going to be difficult to do it on crops once they're grown or growing because of course the class doesn't have um care tires doesn't have crop friendly tires hmm. I'd have to I'd have to spray very early in the growth stage. Right as soon as the crop is emerging whilst it's still just you know sprouting. When I'm when I don't do any damage to it. That's something for me to look into. As you can see, I've got a lot of cultivating left to do on this field before it gets dark. I don't know how Gerald's getting on over on the, uh, the rock picker. Maybe we go and have a look at him for a second. There he goes. <laughs> I mean, he's got 28,000 litres of stone in him, bless him. But he's not going to be selling that anytime soon. We're not going to be able to do that contract for... Um, stone. However, we will have 28,000 litres of stone to sell. Um, does raise the question, would I... Be, would it be wise for me to buy a um, stone crusher of my own and place on the map so I can actually use this stone to make my own line? Hmm. Tough one. Very tough one. But anyway, folks, we've unfortunately reached the end of today's episode. I know, it's sad. I heard you all go, oh. I did hear you all sigh there with disappointment that we've come to the end of another episode of Calmston Farms. But don't worry, there will be more. Much, much more in this series. We've got a long, 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 long way to go yet. Um, if you've seen my other Let's Play series, you know we tend to go for a lot of episodes in a series. So there's going to be plenty more to come on this map. So please do me a massive favour though today and uh, click that like button before you head off to watch something else. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not already doing so. Leave me your comments in the comments section down below. And uh, share the video with everyone you can everywhere you can and let's hopefully get a lot more eyes 
on the um, on on the on the content as well. And finally, my one final little bit of a request is, if you are buying stuff online and you are an Amazon UK or Amazon US customer, please think about clicking my um, affiliate link before you make any purchases. Use my affiliate link to go to Amazon and buy your stuff because then um, I get a little bit of a kickback from Amazon which helps obviously support me and the channel. Um, and also because of the fact that in the, the three months since setting up those affiliate links no one yet has actually made a purchase via them and unfortunately if you don't do that within the next month Amazon will unfortunately remove those affiliate links, so you'll lose them. Um, so yeah, that's another kind of little plea I'm putting out there at the end of this video. Please use the Amazon links. Otherwise, they'll, they'll be removed. Amazon will turn them off and we'll all lose out then. We'll, everybody will lose out. But anyway from Carlston Farm here on this lovely September evening. It's goodbye from me.